Aloy Ejimako, one of the lawyers representing the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Namde Kanu said he has sent some legal documents to the directorate of State of the Separatist Group in defense of its members arrested by Ghanaian police last week. Yeah. The legal practitioner said the action was taken to prevent the arrested Biafra agitators from being sent to Nigeria. Ijimako revealed this on his verified Twitter page on Monday. Sarah reporters had reported that Ghanaian police may storm the venue of IPOP's monthly meeting around Malam Junction in Accra on Sunday, arresting an undisclosed number of members of the group. In a video obtained by Sarah reporters, the arrested members were seen singing a pro-Biafra solidarity song. They were subsequently taken to a police station in Accra where they were profiled. Reacting to this, the lawyer said the move was to also swiftly secure their freedom. Updates on IPOP Ghana. A few days ago, I sent to the DOS via uh, Chinansa Worum. At Chinansa Woru, certain legal documents critical to the defense of the faith food currently distressed in Ghana. The goal is to pick, quickly secure their freedom and prevent their rendition to injustice in Nigeria, Ijimako tweeted. The IPOP leader Kano, who had been overseeing the group's affair, was captured in Kenya and taken to Nigeria in June. He has been in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, awaiting his trial slated for October 21 for charges bordering on treason, terrorism and others other fight against him by the Nigerian government. Hmm. They, are, they were holding, we, we heard about this last week, they were holding their meeting. So it has become a word I don't understand. Because I believe that they will be holding their meeting in all other countries of the world. And which they have been doing in Nigeria, it did not cause Wahala. I just believe that the crowd and the people who were now interested in this Biafra struggle, was what one of the reasons why the government was really fidgeting and threatened before we could see Jack Robinson, they were proof they were they were prescribed and since then it has been in order this they, they are not i don't understand i don't understand does it mean that the nigerian government has given them a tip that they should not allow them to gather would that stop anything would that stop anything in the first place because i don't really get this whole thing wow kudos African are evil. Africans are evil. God pass them. Free Namde Kano, free Biafra. The lawyer is sleep, uh, simply looking for money, even though the arrest was made, but no plans for extradition. Are you in Ghana to know what is happening? So there's no point for extradition, and the man will just be making it up. God bless you, my lawyer. You are working, my guy. Hope you apply correct mechanisms in it. God be with you all in this battle. A great lawyer, God bless you, sir. Ghana, we regret their actions against Biafrans. God is our strength. Do so. Nah, God will bless you. Ghana must resist attempts to lure them into enmity with Biafra, the God's own nation. The God's own nation, the greatest gift and blessing to Africa and mankind. Hmm. This whole thing is just getting out of hand. <laughs> They were arrested based on what? Based on what? And a lot of people are really reacting to that. So Ghana won't become like Kenya government. <laughs> Why must Kano, uh, Kano have an Islamic police force? Are they not part of Nigeria again? Now, wow. Hmm. Uh, created by the elected state government. Your Biafra forces should also be created by the state government, just like Amoteku of the Southwest and not individuals. Ghana shouldn't even think of colliding with the useless Fulanese government. They will regret it because Nigeria will fail them. IPOP is not a terrorist group, as said by the Fulani government of Nigeria. Rather, they are peace loving people agitating freedom and equity. Therefore, I plead leave them alone and give them all the necessary support they need god bless you as you comply well the issue is that uh, i thank god that the northerners are the ones suffering 
what we are what is going on the insecurity in this country they are the ones suffering it the most the useless and foolish animals called northerners are the people paying with their blood and lives in the hands of the killer s men boko haram and bandit terrorist brothers they will continue to suffer hmm. ghana police what is your problem fighting for your freedom in ghana abi they are holding their meetings so is it not say i just believe it is an association we have a a lot of ghanaians who are in nigeria is it because nigerian of course if the nigerian government proscribed them terrorist group in the real sense go and do your own study they should do their own study and find out what these people really meant uh what's what they really stand for they are in nigeria they don't go about killing anybody they don't go about destroying people's uh, properties but rather they are always in every nook and cranny creating employment creating development creating job opportunities for people making businesses thrive that is what they are known for generally and with this injustice then some people will not tell you that uh, they are terrorist group that they should not talk because this whole thing is just getting out of hand them being in this thing i have never heard them even in other uh, uh countries saying that they are agitating for wanting wanting they can hold their meetings and they can people do protest this one they were not even protesting or you know, that uh, oh yes we won't be afra they can't be doing that in ghana in the course of their meeting in the course of their meeting in nigeria are they even causing problem they are not causing problem in nigeria even since uh, Kano was arrested in Kenya, we never heard that uh, they did the unthinkable or the unimaginable. So why Ghana? Up to now, we don't even know the exact reason why they were arrested just because they were holding their meeting. And now the issue of extracting them is what I don't even understand. I don't get what is the offense that these people want to get them. I don't know. So they they have not finished... They finish arresting the ones in Nigeria here. I mean the the IPOP members that are here. They finish arresting them, so it is not for them to be arrested in another uh, another man's country. I don't get all these things. Though. Now the Nigeria as a country is is upside down. Gumi is telling us that the bandits go nowhere, that they go nowhere. They stay with us because they are being marginalized. They are agitators. They are these standards according to Gumi. And some people are sitting down here telling us that hey, these people are causing problems. That Boyafra or the iPod are, the, are their problems. Misplaced priority.